Hi everyone, this is Sean from Hancock Guitars. We just got a new shipment of Rubner tuners from Germany, so I thought this is a good opportunity to run you through the different series of Rubners and explain the features of those tuners. All of these are classical guitar tuners. They're all available from Australian Luthiers Supplies and they're all made in the Rubner factory in Germany. So we'll start off with the standard series tuners. This particular one is in a polished brass finish with imitation pearl buttons. These are made from solid brass for the bass plate and the gears. The worms are made from steel, so they're made with quality materials. The shaft is machined plastic with a brass uh, insert in the middle of it, and the worms are actually riveted onto these. These are a great entry level tuner and not too expensive. Then you step up to the Deluxe series. This particular one has ebony buttons and black plastic rollers. The difference between these ones and the standard series are the bearings. So they have Teflon bearings. They're the little white things you can see between the worm and the housing and also between the gear and the base plate. So Teflon being slippery, that reduces the friction between those parts and the other metal parts. Next step up are the Superior Series. This one is in a matte finish with an edge engraving and it has rosewood buttons and imitation ivory shafts. They have the same Teflon bearings as the Deluxe Series, but in addition they have a ball bearing at the end of each shaft and also this white plastic bearing here and they have sleeves for the strings, those little brass things you can see in there and the centre of the gears is actually capped with a matching cap to the material in the button which is quite a nice little feature. Then we get to the newest model from Rubner, the El Sonido series. These are a real world-class concert classical machine head uh, they feature bronze gears, which are in a higher ratio than the previous series. Bronze being a higher quality, harder material, they're harder wearing. They also have sleeves that attach the roller to the base plate, so the roller doesn't actually touch the base plate. You can see that brassing between the gear and the base plate. The worms are machined precisely and they're attached to the base plate using four little screws. You can see there, rather than the rivets that were previously used on other models. These particular ones are, have a fancy sort of base plate, good for an old fashioned guitar, and the buttons are black pearl, so really nice materials there. So basically, as you step up in the range, you get more features, more bearings, and that just increases the precision of the tuning, how well the guitar will stay in tune, and how enjoyable it'll be to play your guitar, obviously. So I hope that's helped you understand the differences between the range of Rubners. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to our channel.